my friends. My name is Gina. If you're brand new here, I'm the creative on YouTube behind Create and Daydream. And today what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my big old Dayspring Illustrating Bible. And we're going to use this set, Experiencing God Wonder by Brianna Showalter. So let's jump in. Okay, so right out of the gate, I've got you on fast forward. We are in Micah. We're going to be focusing on Micah 6 eight in the um the bible but we're we're gonna tie in a couple more because these sets experiencing god these are sets that brianna showalter is doing all year long for illustrated faith so in january she did experience god listen in february it was abide in march it was make and now we are into wander for the month of april so what you're seeing on the screen is i love brianna's florals so she's an acrylic and a watercolor painting artist that's what she does professionally and oh gosh her florals are absolutely gorgeous probably anything that you've seen me do with brianna's stuff is floral based so i printed out all the florals on a lightweight cardstock i also have them printed on clear mako sticker paper um because i'm going to use them a couple different ways but on this page primarily we are using the florals that are cardstock sometimes i'll lay down a clear mako sticker paper and i kind of lift it up but i knew this page was going to get a little bit bulky and I'm putting, um, oh, coffee. Uh, good morning if you're here in the morning or good afternoon. I was probably drinking coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> um, um, I'm putting in my prayer behind the floral. So I'm lifting stuff up a little bit. So what I'm doing here is that little green card is directly from her set. That's the exact size it was. And where we're at in the Bible, I have room to put like full pieces of paper on the right hand side, which doesn't happen too, too often. So I'm gonna use that as a background to kind of lift the color off the page because I'm focusing in on the daisies and you need something behind it um, or you're gonna have a white page. And that's okay for a lot of people, but I have to take photos of my stuff because I'm on the creative team um, and I really wanna showcase the flower. So there's a little tip, like when you're, when you're thinking about something to create, if you know you wanna share it, just make sure that you have some color behind white or you know how to edit really well. Um, you know, we're all still learning, even I'm still learning. So the main piece there is the daisy with the little flowers coming out. You're gonna see me come in and cut some of those out and um, adjust it. That's one part of this page that I do lift up with pop dots because I put a bigger daisy on there and as you can see, um, I'm just uh, auditioning all the pieces, if you want to say. I'm arranging all the pieces. <laughs> I sat on this page easily two hours. I think I edited this down for two hours. So um, I just love moving florals around and see how they're going to go on the page. And then I was just kind of listening to Micah uh, and thinking about what it means to experience God as far as wandering. Because that's not something you really hear. You hear of people wandering away from God to go to the enemy, but you don't hear about people talking about wandering and going to God in that way. So I want to talk a little bit about that today. Okay, before I get into that, these papers, these were from the call to create uh, physical papers that were in the Illustrated Faith Shop, but I've also printed them on uh, other papers. So you can pick these up in the Illustrated Faith Shop, especially if you have like a, not especially, I mean, you can pick them up. <laughs> matter what but if you want really good color from them go and take them to an office store and get them printed on laser paper it takes the color up like a million percent it's crazy so do you see me ripping paper y'all i'm heading towards a junk journal <laughs> i am trying um ripping paper is not something i usually do it's an occasional thing but when you have double-sided paper when you're going to rip know that the top side is going to show more of the white than the back side um so as you can see there like the peach shows more of the white and now i wanted it on this side and nope i messed that up so we're gonna put that to the side <laughs> we're gonna start over um so as you can see i ripped from the top that's the page that i want to use it's going to show a little bit more white and i'm just laying this down here because in this bible i have room to lay all this so now this purple piece is going to be my pocket that's what's going to hold this green card that we're going to come in and write a prayer behind so okay while you see me doing this let me share the bible verse we are in michael michael Micah 6 8 the Bible verses do justice love kindness and walk humbly with your God 
That's the translation that Brianna used for these cards. I want to say that's ESV. In my NIV Bible, it says, um, He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So she just took out a little bit of the front of it and kind of paraphrased it to bring it down on that card. So what I want to do is just kind of read you a little blurb from my Bible that focuses on Micah 6 and then we'll go into what um, Brianna focused on with her Experience in God series. So it says in my Bible, what does God require of us? These beautiful famous words of the prophet Micah outline God's simple expectations of his people to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. These qualities of the heart that led to a God-pleasing life have stood the test of time because they reflect the heart of God himself. Throughout the history of his interaction with his people, God has longed for them to remember his goodness and generosity to his people and to live in response to all they know about the Lord. Okay, so I read that before I am voiceovering this and now I'm reading it again and that's so, so good. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, I'm going to read a little bit of the rest of it. Again, this is like a blurb in my Bible. It goes on to say, Jesus confronted the religious leaders of his day, the teachers of the law and Pharisees, for turning worship into to drudgery and for outwardly doing all the right things but inwardly neglecting to show justice and mercy he harshly criticized them calling them hypocrites and blind guides that's in Matthew 23 23 through 24 God desires that his people walk humbly with him for as they walk with him they become more like him amen amen I believe that Jesus is the way John 14 6 he is the one who came to serve not to be served Mark 10 45 when a crowd asked him what kind of works God requires he simply he simply answered the work of God is this to believe in the one he has sent that's John 6 28 through 29 when Jesus when Jesus's people follow him with their whole hearts they develop hearts like his hearts that are compassionate and swift to do justice oh that's so so good Again, when Jesus' people follow him with their whole hearts, they develop hearts like his, hearts that are compassionate and swift to do just justice. Oh, I love that. So for me, being a newer Christian, um, you know, I'm learning so many things, like, uh, every single day like when you start getting into your bible every single day you just continue to learn and learn and learn and that's me getting excited that i figured out how i wanted these three daisies to go on my legs so it was a supersonic a dance break <laughs> on my page if you didn't catch that i it sounds like i said on my leg <laughs> on my page so um the point i'm just trying to make is the more that i'm in the bible the more i'm reading devotionals the more i can feel jesus the holy spirit moving in my heart my goal in this life is to have jesus reflected from me um so hopefully that'll make sense now what i want to share is how brianna is approaching this so again like i mentioned she's doing experiencing god it's a series it's going to be this whole year it's fantastic i encourage you to go back and get them all um it's just a really neat series and she says um this is how she's explaining wandering she says one of my favorite things to do with a friend is to go for walks we joke that we can wander for an hour and solve all the world's problems these walks become such precious building blocks in our relationship the formula is simply really put on shoes and head out together facing the same way wandering towards our destination though that destination isn't the, the important bit it's what happens along the way and she goes on to say something really important god created us for the enjoyment of a walking relationship that involves companionship harmony unity community mutual delight and shared conversation god longs to walk with us and his grace is constantly pulling you towards him it's not a race but rather a meandering walk that's more about togetherness and exploration our goal is intimate friendship that is walked out through the course of our everyday lives. Yahweh is in this for the long haul with us. Wandering with him provides comfort and direction when the way we're heading looks rocky or confusing or dark, which I feel like that's kind of where we're all heading right now in the year 2023. There's just lots of nasty stuff happening. The enemy's like getting at us every single way. So she goes on to say here, 
Our relationship with Yahweh benefits hugely from walking together, wandering through life together, facing the same direction, talking through both the good and the bad, and taking notice of what's around us. Part of the fun of a good wander is exploring and coming upon surprises around a bend in the path. You never know what you might find while wandering, early blooming flowers, a glorious sky, or a unique stone or shell. In April, we wander. So, like, my interpretation of that is when she goes outside a lot. And, like, and Brianna's taught me. She's the one that taught me to really look up. Like, now I really look up every day. And I look at the clouds and I see the formations. And I just can see the magnificence of God. And so, like, you go out and you go on walks. And you when you, when you really, really, like, understand God and know that he made everything, like, Everything is brand new to you. It's like so amazing to see all the colors of the flowers or to see the, the sunsets or the sunrise and how they like take shape to be able to see stars and the moon and um, to look at different people and just see how unique we all are. So wandering for her and really in the Bible as well is wandering with God. It's walking with God. Um, which again, I'll say it can be used the other way, but we're going to use it in a way that says that, hey, yep, we're wandering with God or we're wandering out on our own to experience in God, you know, outside and other people in ourselves. So for this series from Brianna, she gives you one of these little sheets in um, each month and in each set. And that kind of gives you a jumping off point. Then she also adds in there's scripture. There's like seven or eight scriptures that you can go to. She adds in these little cards, which I'm using the Micah 6, 8 card. And as you can see, I put it on another one of these. Luckily, I had printed out two because I was going to try to put a flower up there on the left hand side. And I didn't like that it was ripped. So putting that back in. Um, what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to pull the card back out. I'm going to write my prayer on the back of that. And that's going to be like my hidden prayer, but I'm going to put a little piece of fabric with it, which I think, you know, all my Bibles are legacy Bibles from my daughter. So I think, you know, when I'm not here and she's looking through them, she's going to know that, oh yeah, mom used to do this. And here's some vellum paper that I use. I will link it below. Um, I started printing on vellum again and I just love it. And as I was thinking about putting Wander as my title, I didn't want to cover up the florals behind it. So I'm using vellum. I'm using the Top Knots stamp, which is super popular. Um, for illustrated faith it's in stock as of april what is this april 5th or so um so you can check that out if it's available i will link that below but um always just keep it in your mind if it's not there shauna brings that back a lot quick little tip uh for printing on vellum especially if you have an inkjet printer you need to let it dry this is stays on ink it's a permanent ink but it stays a little bit wet for a little bit longer on the vellum so make sure that you let that dry so as you can see i printed out or i stamped out wander um i'm gonna come in i'm using my little double way it's not a double way it's just a it's a glue stick a glue pen <laughs> <laughs> and it goes on like blue, but then it dries clear. So it's fantastic for something like this. And then y'all, did you see my new washi tape holder? Um, I bought a, what is that? A sunglass case and they stack on top of each other. I really like it. I'll link that below if you're interested in it. So um, as I'm putting these together, here's the other thing that Brianna talks about. This is another little like, uh, just I think a little part of her set that she wants to uh, let us know the reason why she you know talks about something this one says often wander is used as a verb that means we're heading away from God that's exactly what I was saying earlier I hadn't read this yet um, let's claim the leisurely stroll is something we do together with the Lord wandering is resting in God's plan wandering is exploring Wandering is celebrating the process rather than racing to a destination. Wandering is taking notice of what is around us and who we walk beside. Ooh, okay, yep. Totally love that. Um, I've already been implement implementing this in my life. Like like I say, when you're outside, just look around. Like it's, it's hard not to see all the majestic things that God has made. Like right now, um, we have snow-capped mountains, which are just absolutely beautiful. And then you'll see like a palm tree in front of one. Um, it's just wild. Like God's creations, which include me and you and whoever's watching this are all unique and they're just all beautiful. And I encourage you to take them all in. Okay. So one last little tip when you're doing a card that you're going to pull out, like I did, make sure you are not 
sticking your flowers anywhere that they're gonna get in the way. So as you can see, I, on that left purple floral, I was careful to put the adhesive on the top of it and stick it behind the leaves. So it kind of gives it dimension on the page and it just makes it look really, really pretty. Um, here I am bringing in twine. This is something that I really love to do. And here's an easy tip is you just take a little piece of paper. This is an extra piece of cardstock and fold it over and then you staple the twine to it. That way it gives you an idea of where it's gonna go and then you can go in and put it in on, in or on your page permanently. I'm using um, Gorilla Glue and that stuff will stick to your fingers and not come off. So be careful with that. Here I'm bringing in some of the fabric um, from her little fabric collages in the shop from Sean and Noel. And that pretty much like wraps up my page. Um, one last thing I wanna leave you with is Brianna gave us some practical ways to wander. And the first one is keep your eyes wide open. Remember it's not a race rest in God's plan, find freedom within the path, pick up treasures as memories. And I love that. Like, you know, we'll pick flowers along the way or this, that, but like if, if you find something really beautiful, like pick a flower, go home and take a picture of it and like put it in your Bible and be like, this is something that I saw today that's beautiful from God. So I hope you all like this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. If you're brand new to my channel, uh, say hello. If you made it this far, leave me a flower. I think there's yellow like sunflowers or daisies. Um, leave me that emoji. And I hope that you're all well. God bless each and every single one of you. Bless up, my friends.